Now, as you know, we all love celebrating June weddings around here. And to get your wedding party popping, and I do mean popping, with a beautiful <laughs> balloon backdrop is Paigey. Hopefully not popping, to be Hopefully honest with you. Hopefully not popping. I yeah. popped one, which Did is not bad. You? It scared the crowd. <laughs> I, mean, I was like, yeah, I was so nervous. But balloons are such a hot trend right now. Yep. And I mentioned that before, but if you look anywhere, it's not just for kids anymore. I think yeah. they used to be like kids party things. Now it's elegance. And a way mm -hmm. to kind of elevate the typical balloon arch is to add depth to it, to add different sizes, to add florals. Yes. And to make it really look expensive, but... Not so much because you're making it all. You're well, I it. know, and it's not as difficult as it may seem or look. Now, we, we have a base here, so what yes. base are we using? Okay, so I used a trellis, and you can kind of see this. We've had this, I think, since my wedding. Um, so we've had this trellis, and it's just, if you don't have one, you can go to the hardware store and get one. They come with little kits to put together. Or if you're crafty, just build uh, like two by fours, it'll hold right. it because it's going to be hidden anyway. Exactly. Doesn't have to be pretty. And the ones you buy at the hardware store, or I think they have them at the craft store too, are not expensive. Yeah, they do. They're no, not, not bad. At all. No. All right. So how do we get started? What do we do first? Okay. So the first thing I did, um, I really wanted to hide that trellis, so you can see kind of where the florals are. There's greenery behind that. So we'll start with our green garland. Okay. Uh, and you can see I'm using garland. I'm also using individual flowers, but okay. let's start with our garland. And I will give you one of these. If you could just. Tie it, tie the balloon anywhere on there. Again, this garland you could get at the craft store. I did get it at the craft store. Yes, I did. Nice. Um, I'm using floral wire, but I noticed everyone who helped me today was afraid to use it. I don't think they used... want to string floral wire through a helium balloon. It, I'd get scared. You know what's fun about it? Even if you only, if, like you save it for just a couple, you can get really creative with where you place it. And also speaking of the, the balloons, mm -hmm. helium, is, is it necessary to use helium? No, but I would say invite a lot of friends over because it's going to take you a long time to blow all these up. <laughs> so you need <laughs> with a good attitude. That's what I was. You could say. also use an air compressor. Okay. Um, but talking about helium too, you want to make sure like where we are is shaded and nice back here, but they have gotten a little smaller. So you want to make sure that you're not putting them in direct sunlight um, because this entire beautiful thing will turn into mini. It'll deflate. Miniature, yes. Okay. If it's in direct sunlight and the heat too, so okay. just maybe keep helium on hand. Over to blow them, maybe, maybe over a little bit. Over them would be perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay, so normally we would take that over and get started, but since I've already gotten started, All right. um, let's go ahead and hang. Just pick a hole that kind of needs it, and you can kind of see that I've done different size balloons. Okay. So, and this is on purpose. You want some great big ones, but then you also want the tiny ones. And instead of going and buying separately, buying those um, little water balloons, right. you know, the small ones, I just inflated the same balloon with different amounts of helium. Okay. So oh, it, it'll really? give you all these different sizes. This balloon is the same as one of the little ones? Exactly, yes. Wow. And you can get them in whatever color palette you want. Um, okay. At the, the party store, I actually, they have a whole wall of balloons. So pick out your colors um, and it will just make it gorgeous from there. And then the flowers, you don't like, this is just a pile. You can see this was one of those, um, a five sprig. So, beautiful. so all I did was took a, a pliers or a um, wire cutter, cut a little bit and Look at you how don't easy need this wire is. wire for that? Nope. I just shoved it in. And you can, like, if you need a little wire, you can reinforce it with wire. Um, but if you don't, oh, are you going to try it? I'm going to try. Okay. You could also, if you want it to be very fancy, do this with real flowers, couldn't you? You could. It would be very expensive. Yes, I talked to um, Amy, who does our flowers oh, here, and beautiful. she said this would cost about $8,000. Oh, my goodness. If she would do it with real flowers. 8000 Yes. So I'm adding a little yes. hot glue, okay. and I'm going to add it to something under here, which you might not be able to see. It's like a little hook. It is. You know what it is? It's a wreath hanger. Because we're going to customize our yes. backdrop. And you know we hang wreaths here. We love hanging wreaths Quite on the show. So, and you can get any size. This is a wreath holder there. Um, you can get any size wreath holder you want. These are just regular um, letters that I got at the craft store. These are wood. Uh, all I did was spray paint them silver, hot glue them together, and then I hot glued, you can kind of see just back here. Ribbon. Hot glued a little ribbon to either side. And Debbie, I'll have you help me here. Okay. If you can hold the sign. Now, if this I'm is covered gonna be a, in hot glue strings. I know, hot glue strings. <laughs> um, if you want it to be down here, you definitely can. Thank okay. you. Let's get that. Um, Where do you want me to hold it? If you're going to use it as an arch or maybe for people to pass through, uh, you'd want to make it off to the side or a little bit higher. So all I'm doing is tying a knot above here. And because I'm doing this, um, you don't need to, whoops, we had a flower go. Oh, that's all right. Is that about good? Go right a little there? bit higher. A little higher? There you go. See, right and there. you can keep adjusting 
And again, if you have people walking under it, you want to get rid of this. Right, because you, put it up higher. you don't just have to use it as a photo backdrop. You no. can use it as anything, really, at the wedding. Yes, exactly. And then just keep, like what I did, as soon as I got the base done, I went back and just put more flowers in. Is it, is it bothering you that it's not perfect? Yeah, you right? know, it's one of those like hanging a painting. You, you gotta what? get it right. It's perfect. And what other people do as well is uh, they put their hashtag on because a lot of people love to share. Oh, that's right. Oh, careful, careful. There you go. I don't want to pop a balloon. I know. You're doing, you're doing so well. But if I do, we have helium on hand. We have helium and you know, a lot of people with a good attitude who'd blow them up for us. Go. Paige, your attitude is pretty, pretty <laughs> darn good if you ask me. Thank you. That is really beautiful. It's so much fun.